Hi guys, it's Bob back again, and today we're going to take a look at the uh, McFarland Toys Eric Draven, The Crow, and this is from the uh, Movie Maniacs series. This is from like 1999, I believe it is. Um, as you can see, he has a included movie poster in there. That's the front. Um, just this red kind of picture in the background. I don't think it really is of anything. It kind of looks like a person in there, but I'm not really 100% sure. Anyway, so on the back you get a, uh, just what was all in this line. You had Halloween, you have the Crow, you had Psycho, Bride of Chucky, Child's Play, Scream, Pumpkinhead, and then they had a bunch of other ones across the bottom there. Dr. Evil. And as you can see, this is Movie Maniacs number two, McFarlane Tory, and McFarlane Toys. Then, um, yeah, so there you got the website. I don't know even if that's still up anymore or not. And uh, you got, as you can see, it says copyright 1999. So that's a look at the packaging. We'll set that to the side. And we will bring in the movie poster that it said. Um, this thing is pretty cool in itself because it has... Now this movie poster is... Um, I don't know. It's, it's okay. It's just a piece of paper. I might want to print out something and like make it cardboard and, and and make it nicer looking if I can get that sheen. Because as you can see, it's kind of warped and stuff. It's just glued in there. Eh, what do you do? Um, the base itself that for for the actual thing, as you can see, the copyright McFarland Toys 1999. This thing is really awesome looking uh, you can see it's an amazing amount of detail the sculpting on that thing is awesome movie maniacs um, as you go up it you got skulls and bones and backbones and that thing is really really cool I'm gonna set all, that off to the side for now um, but that that's worth it just because it's pretty cool just as that um, Okay, so we're going to bring in Mr. Draven, Ugh, and there's one problem, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, there he is, he comes with a display base, which is amazing because you really, really need it because he does not stand at all by himself, even a little bit, doesn't even try to, and I'll explain that here in a second. Get in frame, sir. Okay, um, we're going to look at his accessories first, he comes with a guitar you know because he was in a band uh, you know can't rain all the time all that stuff it's a really nice guitar um, it's not a leather strap it's kind of like a pl plastic but it's molded to look like leather I don't know if that's even coming across or even if you could see that it's got the grain of like leather on it you got the whammy bar you got all the hookups the knobs you got the strings you got it's, the detail is really cool and it's just, you know, it's not rubbery or anything so it holds up pretty good. So he comes with that. He also comes with, of course, you know, you need the crow. Now the crow is a rubbery kind of, it's not hard plastic at all. Um, you can see the detailing on the crow and you can see he has pegs on the bottom of his feet. And they are pliable which comes in handy for when you plug him into Eric. We're going to look at Eric himself. He does have this display base, which is, like I said, a, necess that's a necessary item to have. Because the way his feet are molded, I'm sure he could stand by himself, but he doesn't really like to. Because he's, okay, he's in a stagnant stance. So um, with McFarlane Toys, you don't get a whole lot of articulation because it is 1990s uh, figure. Nothing, nothing, nothing. He has, his arms can do 360s. His head can look left, kind, or right, kind of, left a little bit, or actually, that's right, a little bit, a little bit, nothing up or down. These go around like that. The legs, they have this cut right there. I don't even know if you can see it. It's kind of molded in there. There's a cut right there, so the legs can go, they kind of do that little angle thing where it makes it look kind of ugly. His legs can, so you can kind of have him sitting down maybe, I don't know. 
but his legs are meant to be in this one pose. It's pretty much a statue. His foot is molded. The boots, I mean the paint job's really cool. Don't get me wrong. You got like dirty boots, really shiny paint job, glossy paint job to make it look like it's leather, like in the show. You got, um, you know, bullet holes and stuff like that. There's the back side. Really cool. Um, we'll get a close up of the face. And I really like that sculpt of the face. He actually does look like um, like Brandon Lee, and I think the 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 sculpt work is amazing. You got the hair and all that stuff, so that's a plus. But anyway, back to the legs. Um, when you put him on his display base, uh, you have a peg right there, and it just pegs into the bottom of his foot here, like like that. So you got him. You can have him standing with his foot like that and like that but when you do that he kinda wants to go boop. he wants to lean uh, here let's zoom out a little bit so you can actually see that lean he looks like he's always gonna fall over and you can kind of adjust his leg by bringing it up on the cut and that kinda helps him stabilize a little bit but that's kinda it doesn't want to stay there it always wants to go back anyway so on the figure itself it has two peg holes right there and like I said he has posts that you plug into the holes. Now with it being that rubbery kind of plastic, it doesn't want to stay in there very well. It wants to just pop right back out. I might have to wind up gluing that in, if you can actually see what I'm doing. I might have to wind up putting some glue and gluing that permanent, making it permanent. Um, but anyway, the crow looks awesome on top of Eric. And you can take his guitar and you can sling it over his shoulder. It's not too bad. You could sling it. So you have that kind of look right there. And I really like that look. That's not bad at all. Let me come down a little bit so you can actually see what I'm doing. I really like that look. It's it's pretty cool. Um, so you can have it as a display. You can have that sitting there like that, which is really cool. You can have that movie poster. It looks really cool on the shelf, and I'm, I'm really happy I picked it up. I found it at a flea market, and it was like $15, I think it was. Um, so you can still find them around. Uh, you might be able to find them on eBay and all that kind of stuff, but you know, if it's something you're looking forward to um, picking up, uh, you can find them around. You just have to do some searching. He's not going to be in stores or anything anymore. But I say he's definitely worth it, because if you're a fan of the Crow like I am, I even named my son Brandon after Brandon Lee. Um, because I've always had, ever since I saw the movie, I kind of had this attachment to the character, to Brandon Lee himself, the history of his family, blah, blah, blah. But the movie is one of my all-time favorite movies. And um, just to have a figure of, of from that movie and that line it is amazing to have uh, Brandon Lee um, immortalized in the sculpt by McFarlane. Um, it's great to have on my shelf. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. I would really, really appreciate it if you like, comment, and subscribe. And share with all your friends and get the word out if you like my videos and stuff. Um, I just want to thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you again next time. Have a great day.